In this video, we'll be going over how to customize and add new blocks to your Shopify store footer. Your footer is an important section of your online store that will be shown at the bottom of every page. You have the ability to customize your footer with an array of blocks, including a menu, text, social media links, images, and more. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to customize your footer. If you haven't signed up to Shopify yet, make sure you head over to learnwithjason.com or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. If you're looking to build an online business, Shopify is definitely the most popular and the best platform that you could use to get started. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. This will open up the page where you can customize the various sections of your Shopify theme. So from the theme customization page, let's go to the footer group at the bottom of the left hand side menu. In your footer group, you can add new sections and customize your footer blocks which will be shown on all pages. If we click the add section tab here, it'll open up a menu where we can view all sorts of different sections that we can add to our footer group. This includes an accordion, which is great for adding a facts section to your footer group, blog posts, a contact form, and much more. But for this tutorial, we'll be focusing on your footer itself and your footer blocks. Your footer blocks are the various sections that you can see on your footer preview. We'll be going over how to customize and add new blocks to your footer, but let's start by customizing our footer layout. To customize the layout of our footer, let's click the footer main tab at the bottom of the left hand side menu. This will open up a menu where we can personalize our footer layout and customize the bottom bar of our footer. So first, let's use the drop down menu up top to select a color scheme. Feel free to select whatever you like, but for my color scheme, I think I'll go with contrasting. This will make my footer background dark and my text light. And underneath this, if you like, you can also adjust the width of your footer. I'm going to leave mine as is, so let's move down to select our desktop column count. From here, we can select to have our footer display three columns or four columns. If I select three columns, you'll notice one of my blocks move to the bottom here. I'll be adding several blocks to my footer, so let's go with four. Next, let's move down to the next section here to customize our bottom bar. This is the bottom part of your footer that can display several items, such as a menu or payment icons. If we want to update the navigation menu in our bottom bar, we can use the top section here. If we click the change button, it'll open up a drop down menu where we can change the menu or remove the menu. If we select the change menu tab, it'll open up a menu where you can select a menu that you previously created on Shopify or where you can create a new menu if you like as well. On Shopify, you can have several menus, so I recommend having different menus for different parts of your online store. Next. You can use the checkbox here to select whether or not to show your payment icons. Your payment icons displays all the different payments that your Shopify store accepts. But as you can see, it takes up a lot of space, so I think I'm going to remove mine. And there we go. Everything now looks much cleaner and my menu is no longer scrunched up. In the next section here, we can use the text field to add a copyright notice. The copyright notice will appear at the bottom of your footer and can include the copyright symbol, year of publication, your brand name, and statement of rights. For this example, I'm just going to go with Copyright Quantum Designs 2024. Under your copyright notice, you have several options here that you can enable or disable. First, you can enable the follow on shop button. This will allow customers to follow your store on the shop app, but you have to have the payment icons enabled in order to see it. Here's what it looks like here, but I'm not going to show my payment icons, so I'm not going to show my follow on shop button either. So using the next options here, we can select to show our language selector and our currency selector. These appear as drop down menus at the bottom of your footer and will allow customers to switch between the languages and currencies that you have available in your shop. But if you only have one currency or language available, then you can probably just disable these. And using the last option here, you can select to show your policy links. Your policy links will appear at the very bottom of your footer bar. If you want to update or add your store policies, you can go to your policy settings. So feel free to personalize your bottom bar as much as you like. And once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So now that I've selected a color scheme and personalized the bottom bar of my footer, let's go over how to add and customize our footer blocks. First, let's go to the footer tab and click the left arrow to open up the drop down menu. Here's where you can view the blocks that are enabled on your footer and where you can add new blocks as well. I currently have four blocks enabled, but if I wanted to add another, I could simply click the add block tab here. This will open up a menu where you can view all the different blocks that are available to add to your footer. You can add an image block, a text block, a logo with text block, 
a subscribe block, a social media block, or a menu block. We're going to demonstrate all of the blocks, so let's add the image block and the text block to my footer. When you add a new block, you should see it appear in the preview on the right hand side. So now that I've added all of the block types to my footer, let's go over how to edit the first block here, which is the logo with text block. If I click the logo with text tab, it'll open up a menu where I can add a logo and text to my block. Let's add a logo by clicking the select image button at the top here. This will open up a menu where you can view all the images that you've previously added to Shopify and where you can add new images as well. I've previously uploaded my brand logo, so let's select it, then click the done button at the bottom right. And my logo has been added to my logo with text section in my footer. If you need to adjust your logo size, you can do that using the slider bar underneath here. I think I'll make my logo a bit smaller. There we go. I think that looks much better. So I've added my logo. Now let's add my text. Using the text fields here, you can add a heading and some body text to your block. Feel free to talk about your brand, your products, or anything else that you like. So I've finished with my logo with text block, so let's click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So the next block I have enabled on my footer here is the menu block. If I click the menu tab from the footer drop down menu, you will be able to use the options here to change your menu and add a heading. If you want to change the menu that's displayed in your footer block, simply click the change button here. You can then click change menu and it'll open up a menu where you can view all the menus that you've previously created on Shopify and where you can create a new menu if you like as well. When you select a new menu, you'll also see it update on the preview on the right. If you haven't already, I recommend creating custom menus for the different parts of your online store. To do this, simply click the create menu tab at the top here. This will take you to a page where you can create a new menu for your Shopify store. From here, you can easily add a title for your menu and add your menu items. But for this example, I'm just going to go with one of my default menus. So let's go down to the bottom here and click the select button. And using the text field underneath here, you can also add a heading for your menu. Go ahead and add your menu heading. And once you're finished, click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So I've customized my image with text block and my menu block. So let's move on to the next one here, which is the social media block. If I click the social media tab here, it'll open up a menu where I can edit the heading and the body text for my block. Feel free to type in whatever you like for your heading and body text, but keep in mind your social media links will be displayed underneath. Icons for all of the social media pages that you've connected will be displayed. If you need to add your social media links, you could easily do that by clicking the theme settings icon on the left hand side here. For my text, I'm simply going to ask customers to connect with us and visit our social media pages to learn more about our products. So once you add your heading and body text for your social media block, go ahead and click the back button. So the next block we have here is our subscribe block. With the subscribe block, customers can leave their emails so you can send them updates and add them to your marketing campaigns. Email addresses that you collect will be stored in the email subscribers section on the customer page in your Shopify admin menu. So to customize my subscribe block, let's go to the footer drop down menu and click the subscribe tab. From here, you can customize the block's heading, body text, and select an input style for your email collection. For your heading and body text, make sure you use wording that makes customers want to sign up. By signing up, maybe they'll receive new updates or maybe even special discounts. Once you add your text, you can then select an input style. You can choose between a solid input style or the outline input style. I think I'll go with the solid. And if we check out the top of the menu on the left here, we can see a message that says each email subscription creates a customer account. From your Shopify account dashboard, if you go to the customers tab on the left hand side menu, you'll be able to view all the customers that signed up to your store. So once you finish customizing your subscribe block, Go ahead and click the back button. So the next block we have here in our footer is our text block. So let's click the text tab in the footer drop down menu. From here, you can add a heading and body text to your block. This is a basic block where you can add whatever text you like to display to your customers. Feel free to share information about your brand objectives, your sources of inspiration, encourage customers to share your store or whatever else you like. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button. And the last example block we have here in our footer is our image block. So let's go to the footer drop down menu and click the image tab. From here, you can add an image or even a video to your footer. For this example, 
I'm just going to add an image. So let's click the select image button at the top here. This will open up a menu where you can view all the images that you've previously uploaded to Shopify and where you can upload new images as well. To upload an image to use for my footer, let's click the add images button at the top here. I can then find and open up the image that I want to use. Once it finishes uploading, make sure you have it selected, then click the done button at the bottom right. And my image has been added to my footer block. If you like, you can also use the slider bars here to adjust your image ratio and your image size. And using the field at the bottom here, you can also add a link to your image. Simply click the text field and you can select the part of your online store that you want to send the customer to. Since my image just shows various items, I'm going to send the customers to view all my products. So once you add your image and add your link, go ahead and click the back button to go back to the theme editor main menu. So I finished adding and customizing all of the footer block types that are available with the Aurora theme. If you wanted to add even more blocks to your footer, you could do this by clicking the add block tab at the bottom. You can then select and add any of the block types that we've gone over. And if you wanted to hide or delete a block, simply use the icons on the right hand side of the tab. So I finished customizing the footer for my Shopify store. So let's use the icon up top here to see how it looks on mobile. I have my image with text block, my menu, my social media block, my subscribe block, my text, and my image block. We can also view all the items in the bottom bar of my footer. I think that looks pretty good. So before we continue, let's go up to the top here and click the save button. And the footer for my online store has now been saved. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to check out the full Shopify Aurora theme customization tutorial, which you can view by clicking the video on the screen here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.